We have an exclusive look tonight for you at the multi-million dollar makeover being given to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. For the first time in its history, it's being stripped back to bare metal. Josh Murphy has the story. It's our postcard picture and looks quite good for 81 years of age. But tonight we can show you another part of the bridge's underbelly, where a major rejuvenation project will bring the rusting and cracked paintwork back to life. It was looking tired. Uh, I wasn't protecting the steel anymore. For the first time ever, the southern approaches are being stripped back to their original metal, returning it to the colour it was when it first opened back in 1932. And this robot is doing much of the work. Extreme pressure is peeling layer upon layer of old and unsafe lead paint away by remote control. Then teams of bridge workers move in with four coats of new world-class, high-performance paint. A stark difference as the work proceeds. She's got to look her best. She's got to have all the makeup on and the eyeshadow looking pretty spick. It's expensive eyeshadow, $18 million worth of maintenance a year. There's one thing you may notice about this colour. It is much lighter than the colour on the bridge's arch. It's still the traditional bridge grey, but the difference with this coat is it will not fade. It won't change colour uh, in the sunlight, unlike the, the paint that we're using on the main span arch. The paintwork on the arch and northern end is still in OK condition. This southern section will take another two years to finish. The paint job should last at least 30. Josh Murphy, 10 News.